Have you ever flinched at the sound of a dentist's drill, even before it touches your tooth? That's classical conditioning at work, one of the most basic ways we learn. Classical conditioning is a type of learning where we form associations between two things, usually a neutral signal and something that naturally causes a reaction. It was first described by Russian physiologist Ivan Pavlov in the early 1900s. And yes, it all started with dogs. Pavlov was studying digestion when he noticed something odd. Dogs began to salivate, not just when food arrived, but when they saw the lab assistant or heard their footsteps. So, Pavlov ran an experiment. He rang a bell, then gave the dog food. After doing this several times, he rang the bell without giving food, and the dog still drooled. To really understand classical conditioning, we need to know four key terms. These show up in every example. Let's walk through them now using Pavlov's original experiment. First, the unconditioned stimulus, or US. That's something that naturally causes a response without any learning. In Pavlov's case, it was the food. Next, the unconditioned response, or UR. That's the natural reaction to food, salivation. The dog didn't have to learn to drool, it just naturally does. Now for the new stuff, the conditioned stimulus, or CS. That's something neutral, something that didn't mean anything before like the sound of a bell. At first, the dog didn't react to the bell at all, but after the bell was paired with the food over and over, the dog began to respond to the bell on its own. That brings us to the conditioned response, or CR, the learned reaction. Now, the bell makes the dog salivate, even if no food is given. These four ingredients, the unconditioned stimulus, unconditioned response, Conditioned stimulus and conditioned response are the building blocks of classical conditioning. Once you understand them, you can spot this kind of learning almost anywhere. Take this. Bob's in the shower. His wife flushes the toilet and suddenly, scalding water, he yelps in pain. Next day, Bob hears the toilet flush and jumps out of the water before it gets hot. He's learned the association. Classical conditioning explains why we react to certain sights, sounds, smells, even people, the way we do. It's automatic, it's powerful, and it's just the beginning.